So I've showed you how to get started with the sample app from this ORID docs repo. Now I'm going to show you how to create your own app. So you can go to just ORID.io and there's a developer link up here. You can click on that and this will get you started creating your own app. So if you log in with your GitHub or your Google account, the first time you do this, as a developer, you're going to be prompted to enter some information about your new app. So I'm going to give it a name for my app. You can put in your company's website, choose a category, and upload an image. So I'm just going to pick a random image here. Now I get to choose which login providers I want to support with my app. So I, I'll, I'll support these two and then maybe phone and email as well, and maybe Twitter. Now this shows you that what will happen is when you click the button, it'll create an account or an app for you, and they're going to be pointing to the test nets for free. So that's your, don't worry about it. You can go ahead and get started. It points to test net and it's up and running. So here's my dashboard. The most important things I need to know are here to clone the get, uh, the sample app, which we've already done in an earlier demo. You can just click there, do a get clone and clone that sample app. And then you need your keys to turn that sample app into your front end for your own app. So I'm going to copy the app ID. I'm going to go over to my sample app that I get cloned earlier. And I'm going to change the settings in here to point to my new app. So if you click on the ENV file that is there for you automatically, you'll see that the app ID points to the demo app and has a helpful demo prefix. I'm going to paste my new app ID here over app ID and then I'm going to copy the app the API key and paste that here. Now these callbacks are the callbacks that um, when you log in or sign a transaction it's going to call back into my current app. So I'm running my app here on port 3000 but if you run your app on a different port or on a different server you need to change these callbacks so they come comes back to the right spot. Since I'm running the sample app by default on port 3000, I'm just going to start it. Once the app loads, uh, this is the same demo app, except now it's using my application ID. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on login with Twitter. And you see how you're being prompted as a user now to log into our, my new app with my logo. And as a user, I'll put in my PIN and it will create an account for me on the appropriate test network. In this case, it's pointing to Kyland. Um, my app has now created my account and you can see I, had, I now have another, uh, a new account name that's been created for me and uh, I'm ready to go. I'm now a user in this new app. Now what's really cool is if I now go to my ORID dashboard, now my view has changed for the app that I created now shows me a dashboard with my users that I've logged in.